Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, cut the tape. And that's gonna be the intro to the show, okay? So one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Cut the Tape. Oh man, I'm gonna fix that camera. All right, obviously I'm bloated today. Listen, cut the tape. We're gonna cut something that we've never cut before on the show. It's time for a little Thundercats. So this is the Thunder Tank from Super 7. I think I pre-ordered this maybe two years ago. I think, it might've been longer than that. And I kept wondering, hey, whatever happened with that? Whatever happened with that? I don't, I don't see any update emails. And I sent Super 7 an email and they're like, hey, we haven't shipped them yet. And then I just get a notification, hey, your package arrived. Uh, okay. All right. So this is a Super 7 Thunder Tank. I do have to say, I like that they have these little things on the corner. Some of them broke off in transit, but I like that they have these little plastic things on the corner to protect the integrity of the box. That, that does show that they care. So, all right, let's pop this thing open. This is akin to, not quite a HasLab type of thing, but I, you know, it's a special pre-order thing. I, you know, I, it's kind of like that to me. Oh, look at that. So now we have additional protection inside the box. Very nice. Very nice. They care that collectors care about packaging and want things to be in nice shape when they arrive. All right, so just looking at the box, all the box does is say Super 7, so nothing interesting. I'm gonna leave this box in the shipping box. Be real careful with this because I don't want to cut the box. Oh, but look, another layer of cardboard. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I really appreciate that. And I'm not, I, it may sound sarcastic, but I appreciate that. Look, foam corners, To they really did a good job of protecting this. There really is no doubt about that. They did an excellent job protecting this. The box art, it's very nice. Man, this thing's huge. This thing's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, woo! Let's move this giant box out of here. Very nice packaging art. This looks just like a vintage Thundercats packaging. I remember my friend Robbie growing up, he had, he had all the Thundercats toys. He had the Cat Slayer, he had the Thunder Tank, he had the Mutant Glider. I only had a few Thundercats as a kid, but I always loved Thundercats. Wow. You know, if anything, I would say that while the cardboard does seem to be resistant, strong. Uh, it, something about it, something about the texture of it doesn't seem quite right. So there's no tape on the box itself. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. St 
styrofoam. I guess when you have something that weighs this much, you are gonna need styrofoam. When I was a kid, I used to take styrofoam and, uh, and I'd make it into a playset. And my favorite playset was the styrofoam insert from Fortress Maximus, which I customized into the Sulaco from Aliens and a spaceship with the Thundercats logo inside. Man, that brings back memories. I, I mean, I must have played with the insert, the Fortress Maximus, more than I played with my actual Fortress Maximus. Let's see, we have a few components here. We have some uh, Thundarium, is it? Thundarium and uh, clear plastic. The windshield part. Now let's cut this tape. I used to use G.I. Joe figures. Oh, there's also a little tool here for Panthro. Anything else? Nope. I used to use my G.I. Joe figures as um, the Colonial Marines from Aliens. And then, um, by the way, nice Thundercat logo right here. And uh, then, uh, I would use Soundwave, like G1 Soundwave, as the alien queen. And then the tapes were kind of like the face huggers. And then I remember I had Wildfly, the Pretender Wildfly from the Monster Bots as a kid. And he looked like an alien. Coincidence? But he, when I got, I got that one because he looked like an alien. All right, let's check out the bouquet first. You know, it's in the bag, so it doesn't have a very strong aroma. I am getting the styrofoam. So uh, let's just take it out. Let's just take it out of the box. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Adjust the camera a little bit. Oh. You know what this makes me want to open? I have the Batman animated series, uh, Batwing. It's like four feet across. I should probably open that. It'll probably display nice with this. Not much to the packaging. You know, it's, it's a bag, styrofoam. Okay, here it is. That bouquet is still very, very strong styrofoam. I want to thank Super 7 for making this. This is one of those things that I hope it's successful because I, I want it to do well. I want more vehicles. And one day I want a cat slayer. All right. There is no paperwork with this that I can see. Double check the box, there's no paperwork. Perhaps there is paperwork inside. Let's open up the main cargo hold. There it is. You can seat four Thundercats plus another Thundercat who can use the turret. So let's see, I have a few Thundercats here. This is, uh, this is Bengali. I'm gonna put them right here. All right, there's little pegs there to keep them standing. And uh, this is uh, Panthro. I'm gonna put them right there. And look at that. Oh, the treads. Let's talk about the treads real quick. Lower that for just a second. You know, I'm going to leave Panthro in there. 
The interior is uh, nicely detailed. Lots of paint applications on the inside. Those back seats look a little tight. Probably more for Wiley Kit and Wiley Kit. Oh, no. Panthro fits in there just fine. The treads. As a Thundercats collector, finding treads for your G1 Thunder Tank is tough. These are rubber treads. These things are huge. Wow. I don't think they actually, maybe they can move. I don't, I don't want to move them. Let's take a look. Now in the new Thundercats TV show from a few years, man, maybe 10 years ago already, the sides of the Thunder Tank came off and became like motorcycles. I always thought that was a really cool idea. This is, this is very classic style. It would have been cool if they incorporated that into this, a little mix of the two. But no, it's, uh, it's a very classic style. We have the cannon that's in there, just like the original. All right. And let's see. Oh, that, there's the cannon. Extendable, retractable. And let's see, oh, very nice. So this is the armor, right? The armor comes off and then you can put the clear canopy on top of it. And it holds two figures on the inside. Very nice. I'm gonna take my lino. I'm gonna put them in here. Excellent. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Lino is a perfect fit. Excellent. Wow. Wow, that does look amazing. But you know what? I think it. I think it looks even cooler with the with the armor part on top of it. Wow. A lot of paint apps. You know, for the price you paid. One thing I do appreciate from Super 7 is that they did payment plans for these things. What a great idea. Hazlab, take a, uh, a cue. Wow, this is, you know, I was a little skeptical to get the Super 7 Ninja Turtles turtle van but um this sold me i love big toys not a whole lot of vehicles for uh six inch action figures such as these and yes i know this is not panthro Saltron. although you <laughs> this is link so he's blind you probably don't want to put a blind guy on the cannon. I mean, he does have excellent hearing, though. Wow, this this is amazing. Man, I, I would... I don't know if God's real, but I want to pray to God that they make a feliner. <laughs> I'm excited they're, they're making the lunatics. Or the lunatacs. And I really like how easy it is to just take that off and replace it. Um, there it is. This is a simple cut the tape. This is a simple. It comes with a little tool that Panthro can use to fix things. A little Thundarium. You know. Uh, you know, there's some. I know tooling's expensive, and I. I this is a great toy. You know, it could have it could have been a little better, and maybe they thought about this these com these compartments opening. Maybe they didn't price out the right way. I understand. Listen, 
it's not a complaint. I'm happy this thing exists. I'm happy I have this. Um, yeah, man, thank you, Super Seven, for making it. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. If it's the only vehicle we get, okay. But I'm hoping for more. I'm hoping it does well, and I'm hoping for one day a cat slayer. All right, everybody. Make sure to wash your hands, be nice to each other, register to vote, and as always, have your pet spayed or neutered. I lost my cat, Bishop, this week. I love cats. I have a, had a cat named Bishop, and a, I have a dog named Ripley. I think if uh, another cat comes into my life, if it's a boy, I'm thinking Hudson. Might be a cool name. All right, be kind to each other, and despite what's going on in the world, even if this thing sits at the side of your workstation for a week, find time to cut some tape. All right.